Hello everyone. I'm going to be walking through my Skyrim Special Edition Linux modding guide. Um, this is an article I wrote on GitHub, um, and I think that it's probably easier for some people if they have a video to follow along with it. Um, I'm going to be breaking it down into three parts. So the first part is going to be installing Skyrim Special Edition via Steam Play and installing the audio fix, which is required if you want audio to work correctly in the game. The second part is going to be about basic modding. And then the third part is going to be about more advanced modding, which includes Skyrim Script Extender 64 and um, other tools like a mod manager and how to integrate those into your Linux desktop. So we're going to jump into it. Um, as I've written, we need to make sure that all of your requirements are fulfilled. Uh, basically, you need up-to-date drivers, pretty recent drivers, um, for Proton to work. Um, I'll leave that up to you to figure all of that out. I'm really not going to go over that here. Uh, the other thing is you need to you need to first enable Steam Play in Steam. Uh, and if you don't know how to do that, it's just you go to Steam, you can go to Settings, and then down here it says Steam Play. And you need to click both of these boxes, and then you need to select whatever version of, of Proton you want. At this point, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be manually specifying a version for Skyrim Special Edition. Um, if it's your first time doing this, when you hit OK, Steam will want to restart. And that's fine, and you can just let it kind of do that. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is, at this point, you should be able to have a download or install button, and you're going to want to download and let Steam install Skyrim. I've already done that. Uh, you need to check that the game is running. Um, I can just show you that real quick. What it's going to do is the launcher should pop up. Um, it should detect your hardware on all of this, just like on Windows. You can click play. Hopefully it will launch and get you to a main menu. Um, it's up to you if you want to test it out any further beyond the main menu. For my purposes, right at this moment, it's not relevant. I just want to make sure the game runs. So we can quit. Uh, next thing is we need to grab the the audio fix download file uh, that I've linked uh, on my GitHub article. Uh, you can download it. I already have it downloaded here. I'm going to extract it. We will get this folder. And inside this folder, we have a script called installaudio.sh. We're going to want to run this script in the terminal. Um, it should already be marked as executable, so we don't have to worry about that. But if for some reason you can't run it, then you want to right click on it and go to properties. Uh, and then under permissions, you want to say allow executing file as a program. It should already be set, but just in case that's not, there you go. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to say dot slash forward slash install underscore audio dot sh. This will install some DLLs to your wine prefix. And without getting too technical, it allows some of the formats, uh, some of the encoded audio files to be played from Skyrim that aren't supported in default Proton. So once that's complete, we can close this. Um, I probably should have pointed out before installing this that you cannot move this folder after the install. Uh, the reason is because it's making symbolic links to all of these files uh, to your wine prefix for Skyrim Special Edition. So if you move these or delete these, your audio will just stop working. So it's really important to make sure you have this folder saved or stored somewhere in a safe place. I'd recommend like somewhere in your home folder, probably in like I don't know, home slash games or something, and then install, and then run this script, and then don't move it. Um, if at any time you do move it, you can just rerun the script, and it will like read link, make the symbolic links to those files again. It's not a big deal. It's not going to break anything. Um, so at this point, uh, the vanilla game should work really well out of box. We've fixed the only really major bug there is, which is the audio. 
being halfway supported, and so we're going to play the game and test it out. Um, what I like to do is I like just to enter the console, which is using the tilde key, which is the key between enter and tab. And then I like to say coc space white run and hit enter. This will warp us to white run and completely and start a new game and completely skip the whole meme introduction cart ride business, which can be very tedious if you just want to test things. Um, what I like to do is I like to make sure that everything looks correct. I like to go over and hit this rock and make sure that uh, we can hear like the audio of the sound effect of the rock being hit. Um, I like to find the closest NPC, which most reliably is just going into Honeybrew. And this guy should greet you. And if you can hear his voice, then it means the audio fix is working and Basically, we're good to go. You can play the vanilla game as, as you want. Um, mm -hmm. And you don't need to go any further if you don't want to do any mods. So that was part one. Um, I'm going to make a separate video for modding and advanced modding, just to kind of break these up and not make such a long video. So let me know um, if you have any questions. I probably won't reply on YouTube because I'm not on YouTube very much, but if you have any issues or any questions, then just open an, an issue on GitHub and I'll do my best to try to help you. Um, so thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.